morning everyone so my follow me around vlogs are back I have not done them for over a year now because my camera that I was using that I got for them had broken last summer or before last summer actually in the spring and then I just didn't feel like replacing it so it's just absolutely gorgeous today and I feel like holding my camera like this will make you guys kind of dizzy but um Anyways, I'm on my way to work. I work in Pittsburgh today, so... Sorry, I don't know what happened, but anyways, this is the easiest way for me to get some videos recorded just because I'm kind of just running around more than usual, I guess, the past couple months, and I haven't been able to do as many, like, sit-down, organized beauty videos. But I never get gas station coffee, so I went in and I got a little cup of it right there, and I spilled it on my shirt, so can you see the coffee? I mean, seriously, like, but anyways, this is what I got at Whole Foods. Um, my favorite Lara Bar coconut cream pie. I love a lot of the flavors, but I try to get ones without peanuts in them, so coconut cream pie, and then I, I'm trying this. They just got these in the Lara Bar Ubers, and this one's Banana Foster. I try to eat things with, like, very minimal ingredients, so... There's dates, unsweetened coconut, almonds, cashews, and extra virgin coconut oil. I love that it has coconut oil on it. And then this one actually isn't too bad except for the brown rice syrup I don't love. Um, but other than that, this one isn't too, too bad. So, um, anyways. Anyways, this is my, um, these both aren't my breakfast, just this one. But this will be maybe like a treat later when I'm craving something really, really sweet. Because I have a sweet tooth. And then I also got these organic berries. So those look really yummy. Okay, so this is this is it. This is where I am, my work site. Um, Free People's right there where you have the sign and there's coffee shops and, and, and uh, anthropology and stuff. But my pants have fuzz and dog hair all over them. Here are my BCBG shoes of the day and my sweater and my black gap ankle trousers. But I'm gonna go now just so I'm not completely talking to myself. Oh, I'm reading this book. Everyone Worth Knowing. It's by the lady that wrote The Devil Wears Prada, so I really like it so far. It's just like an easy read. Alright, so I failed miserably at vlogging the rest of the day yesterday. I was so exhausted all day at work and everything. I just nixed grocery shopping, didn't go, and went straight home, and I honestly didn't even eat dinner. I just got in bed and I messed around on the computer a bit and um that's about it really I watched a few videos and I was on the internet for a little bit and then I I was truly in bed by like 9 30 and I think I fell asleep more towards like 11 but I was just in bed I couldn't even be bothered with eating I was so tired so the vlogging wasn't the most productive yesterday but I'm um, at it again today, so I figure I'll just combine these videos. I'm exhausted again, and I really, really, really don't feel like shopping, so I'm not going to do a whole lot of grocery shopping, but as you can see, I am at Trader Joe's right now, so I'm going to go in, and I'm going to get some sweet potatoes and avocados, and I have fuzz on my pants again, and I just can't even stand to care right now, so I'll let you guys know what I get for groceries but I'm home it was a really really long day so I got home a little bit ago um it's probably like I want to say maybe 8 30 now so it was a long day I'm exhausted I didn't get as much stuff as I normally would get but I did stop by um I did stop by Whole Foods and I stopped by Traders and I got some stuff to replenish our fridge so I'm going to just kind of show you guys because um, I get questions about what I eat and my diet and that sort of thing. And I can do a separate uh, video on that. But as I do these kind of follow me videos or day in the life videos, you'll get a gist of kind of what I eat. We'll do Whole Foods first. Um, will we do Whole Foods or Trader We'll do Whole Foods first. Basically what I do is I go and I get most of my produce at um, Trader Joe's because it's cheapest there. So, it, But Whole Foods sometimes has things like I got my Avos at um, at Whole Foods. Traders doesn't always have stuff. It, it might not look as great that day or it might not, um, like the avocados didn't look as good today at Traders, so I got them at Whole Foods. But that's, I just kind of gauge it, but I always go to Traders first and stock up on as much as possible there. Now this was a shorter grocery trip, so I didn't get as much stuff as usual, but 
The first thing I grabbed was kale, so I always get a package of kale. Um, with kale, I can just saute it with my meat. Um, I can just uh, set it on like a cookie tray and do some uh, sea salt and olive oil on it and do kale chips if you bake them in the oven. Um, you can do it raw like a salad, so kale's really good for you. And then the next thing I got was organic power greens, and this also has baby kale in it, but also chard and spinach. So this is great for a salad. You can mix those two together for a salad. Okay, the next thing I got was the next thing I got was um, sweet potatoes. So the sweet potatoes are nice because you get just like a bunch of little ones, and they're a really good price. I don't have to worry about picking my own out. I just grab a bag and I'm good to go. I eat sweet potatoes all the time. I get my carbs from sweet potatoes and I get that um, you know since I'm not eating any gluten and I don't really eat gluten free bread or I don't eat uh, many grains I try not to eat any grains actually but I, I get my carbs from this and I also get that texture with my meal whether I'm eating meat or whatever um, that just gives like a little bit of heavier substance so that's my sweet potatoes and then I got lemons so the lemons are just for my water and also for salad dressing and to squeeze on avocado also. I got carmini mushrooms, which are just like baby Bellas. Um, I grabbed some sliced almonds, so these are just raw. Uh, get the raw, get the unsalted. They're the healthiest, you know, they're not gonna be adding extra sodium to your diet, so. I got the raw almonds, and what I'll do with this is if I'm craving cereal, I'll do some raw almonds, and I'll do some cut up strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries in this in a bowl and do some almond milk over it. So that'll satisfy my need for cereal because I don't really indulge in gluten-free cereal or gluten-free granola because it's still not really the best uh, for you. Um, it's still just kind of filled with a lot of sugar and everything. And like I said, I try to keep my diet mostly grain-free. So I got apples and I think these are Royal Gala. So I got four of those. Um, got really delicious looking strawberries so they're good strawberries today um, organic is good if you can with the strawberries same with the apples apples are one fruit that's very important that you try to get organic uh, to avoid the pesticides and everything and then I got some Trader Joe's cauliflower so with the cauliflower I can eat it raw but raw vegetables are they're not always the best for my stomach personally so um, there's different things you can do with the cauliflower um, you can do it like in the in this frying pan or in the saute pan when I'm doing my my food like my chicken or my meat or ground, whatever I'm doing in there I can throw this in and just kind of warm it up in that pan you can always microwave it or boil it and kind of soften it up um, or you can make mashed potatoes with it faux mashed potatoes or you can do it on the grater and do faux rice with it so that's the cauliflower and then I got limes also to squeeze in water and also to squeeze on my avocados. And then I got my sea salt. My favorite sea salt is just Trader Joe's um, grinder. It's $2, can't beat that. And my camera looks like it's gonna die again. I also got cinnamon sugar, um, and this is for my, my dad and my sister. I might try it, but they I told them about this and they wanted it. So that's what else I got. I got some taco seasoning to do with ground beef, and that's a pretty, um, minimal ingredient one. There's not a whole lot to it. So I grabbed that one, some red raspberries, and then I'm going to go fast because this is going to, this camera is going to die and Kerrygold, um, my favorite butter, Kerrygold unsalted. So I'm going to click this off so it saves and then I'll, I might be back with my, my whole foods stuff. Okay, I'm going to try to go fast with my whole foods. <laughs> I got um, banana peppers. We'll just go right in the bag. Actually, it's too dark to see. I got some delicious looking organic blueberries. Like I said, I'll put those, you know, put some almond milk over those. I got, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, there, I got my avocados because I eat at least half of an avocado, if not a full one a day. I got my ginger tea. My favorite is the uh, tradi traditional medicinals, organic ginger. It helps with my digestion and my stomach, and it doesn't have fennel seed or licorice in it. So that's why I get that one, because I hate black licorice taste. And then I got one avo for tonight um, that's softer. Usually when you get them in the pack, they're a lot harder. 
And then the one thing I got is just like a sweet treat because um, I was really craving sweet. It's kind of an indulgence and these are very expensive, but they're Cocoa Runes and they're brownie um, flavored and they're really good if you are on a grain-free diet or gluten-free diet. All that's in them is raw and sweetened coconut, almond flour, cacao or cocoa. I never know how to say that. Unfiltered maple syrup. Um, raw cold pressed coconut oil, vanilla extract, and Himalayan crystal salt. So there's not much to them. They are brownie flavored. However, they aren't very sweet, but if you're used to not eating really super sweet stuff, then they are sweet to you. And they were the perfect indulgence for me today when I was really craving, um, really craving something sweet. So these are really yummy, but they are $7 a bag and there's barely anything to them. They're so teeny tiny. All right, so I'm just showing you guys how easy this was. I um, bought the ground turkey meat. Um, is that all it was? It was just ground white turkey meat. I bought it when I was at Whole Foods. And then all I did right now was just put some coconut oil. I used just the Trader Joe's organic virgin coconut oil. Um, oh my God, I have stuff everywhere. This is the kind that I usually use. The Living Foods brand. But I... I just brown the meat and I put some of the Trader Joe's taco seasoning in that you guys saw and the kitchen's a mess for my sister making her dinner but uh, that's all. I wanted to show you guys what I made to eat. I'm like choking right now but I just used that mix that had the shard and the kale and the um what else baby spinach in it and then I did the the turkey the ground turkey on top and I cut up an avocado. I ate like or I'm eating about three quarters of an avocado on here. My sister used the other quarter of it. So that is what's on the salad. So salad, turkey meat, avocado, and then I cut up a tomato. And that's all. I squeezed a little bit of lemon. There's some salt and pepper on there. The beef is taco, or the turkey, ground turkey is taco season. And so it has a little bit of a kick to it. But that's going to be my dinner. Hi, so I'm at work today. It's Saturday. I work Saturdays um, and I have been a really bad vlogger this week. I haven't really even shown you my face in any of these vlogs, which doesn't really matter, but um, it's kind of boring because I know that there hasn't been good scenery, but this is my work site. This is it. Um, if I show you back there, it's just kind of an empty vacant building right now. Um, don't really want to get into it, but this is where I'm working a few days a week. And I just have a lot of work to do on the computer today. Mm. And so um, that's what I plan on doing. But I figured I'd try to vlog today since it is, um, sorry, since it is Saturday, I should be able to kind of get a little more footage than normal. And I, I don't know what I'm doing tonight, but I'll take the camera along with me, whatever I do. It is Pittsburgh, best of the Berg. So I'm really excited. Awesome. So I'm really interested to kind of just browse through. I love the Pittsburgh-based magazines. I really love them. I like to just see stuff that um, that I don't even know about in Pittsburgh. And Pittsburgh has so many cool things. It's so eclectic, I think. And it's artsy. And it has, you know, a, ri a wide range of stuff for a ton of people. So I just think it's an awesome, awesome city. I'm such a big fan of Pittsburgh. For breakfast, I'm just having some coffee in a coconut cream pie Lara bar. So I got ginger also in pecan pie. But sorry that it's not very scenic. I can try to show you. Um, I, my outfit today is just this loft sweater. Of course, I'm wearing a loft sweater. BCBG flats that I wear a lot because they're so comfy, and then um, gap pants. But let me see if I can just show you my face of the day. This is my face of the day. I feel like this is way too close to me, but I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Hi guys! Alright, so I'm so excited because in my magazine that I was reading, uh, the Pittsburgh, you know, the Pittsburgh one, the 50, or the whatever, Pittsburgh's finest. Sorry, there's a ton of sirens right now. Um, back that way, you can't see really. Um, there is a place called Paris 66, Everyday French Cuisine. So I pass it every day. Pa don't think much about it. I just thought it was a cute little French restaurant, but in the magazine, they are voted as having the best dessert or the best macarons or macaroons. I don't know really how to say it. I always thought macarons were like the coconut thing, so I guess there's two different ones. But anyways, they showed pictures of them, and I thought, oh my god, I didn't know. I always see people like Instagramming and, and stuff, you know, and I always feel like they're in New York at that one place. Everybody, you know, videotapes or Instagrams in New York, and I forget what it's called. But, um... 
I didn't realize they were accessible, so I got really excited and I looked up the ingredients and they're gluten-free. So today, the number one thing that I'm doing um, to start my little mission is trying one of them. So I wanted to show you guys that this is it. The bag is so cute and the boy was so helpful. And I got lemon because my friend Julie said that lemon was amazing. I can't do this with one hand. Um, Julie said that lemon was amazing and then I got pistachio and I got white chocolate. All right, so I just had lunch at Whole Foods. I sat outside. It's kind of humid, but it's nice out. It was pleasant. I had some cucumber avocado sushi roll, which I don't eat sushi a lot. I love it so much, but I don't really eat the right. I, I try not to eat grains, so I don't really eat rice. But Saturday, usually after work, like sort of my, I don't want to say free for all. I keep it, I try to keep things in check, but I already had those macarons and, uh, and sushi. And I figured I would try this. Um, I saw someone's video, someone was talking about tea's tea. Lightly sweetened, I got blueberry green tea, and then I tried a few other flavors. And so, again, like I try not to do sweetened tea, but I don't know, this is just lightly sweetened. I don't think there's too, too much. All right, so I am at, you can see, Nordstrom. It's Sunday, and mom's sitting in my back seat because we just took um, Audra to work and got some coffee and now we're gonna go meet my dad at Starbucks but we just didn't have time to do her makeup before we left today so um, I have to run into CVS and get her some lipstick I'm just gonna get wet and wild because it's like my new favorite brand of lipstick and then um, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit today I'm just wearing um, these really cute sandals from Target my feet look kind of weird there um, but you can't really see because it's dark, but sandals, a skirt, and then just a, doesn't necessarily match, but just like a crop top. So, um, I'll talk to you guys soon. So Mom. How did you decide on that one? Dad, we're at Starbucks right now. How'd you decide on that? Iced coffee, water, tall coffee, Panera coffee. <laughs> Scone, Scone from, from Panera Scone at Starbucks. It's my other phone. Kind bar. Because here's our choices. To be back at four, to go home right now, get ready, go there for an hour and come home. I'm ready, I'm just wearing this. Okay. So if you wear that. Skirt. How Target shoes. One o'clock. The earliest we can get there if we leave right now is two o'clock. Cut off two. Okay. Alright. Okay. Should we go? Yeah. And then, then, yeah. then we could leave and be back. We could have water just sit around. How oh, nice, Mom. Bruce, do you want to be on my YouTube video? I won't post it if you say no. No, no, that's totally I'll edit you out. <laughs> do you, we won't have put the story on tape. That's Bruce, everyone. He watches my YouTubes every once in a while. Yes. Get some makeup tips. Yeah, don't bother taking me. I don't want it. That's my grandma. Call her Situ. Look how... She's beautiful. Sidney, move your fit hand out of the way. Just smile. You're and, like a superstar. And the best cook in the Western Hemisphere. Best That's cook true. in the Western Hemisphere. If you, if I get enough votes, we'll start selling her food. Well, I'll <laughs> ship it anywhere in the United States. So let me know if you want any no. baklava, grape leaves, no, kibbe. You can PayPal me money and I'll send you some authentic... <laughs> Send you some authentic Syrian food. Spinacopita. My, my celebrity status. Celebrity status. <laughs> Alright, I'll turn it off now so Bruce can tell his story. I'm trying to tape. I, I forgot to take my camera out beforehand and now I'm just trying to tape Pittsburgh. This is My dad's actually driving right now so I can tape some of the scenery. But this is really pretty. That's... Gateway Clipper Fleet in the, the river and um, well that's Station Square over here. You can see there's shopping and eating Historic and stuff. Smithfield Street. Yeah, Smithfield Street Bridge. This is downtown Pittsburgh on our left. Look at that bridge, it's awesome. UPMC building is up there. Kind of too zoomed in. I was all excited to give me one of these. One of these. I have no idea where the, where the spout is. 
He said there isn't a spout. It's only the strictly pour into that little cup. You could pour from any angle? I don't know. You must be able to. It drips everywhere. It's kind of weird. So we're going in the south side. And there is the best place for jeans. Where I got my mother jeans. Jeans are dead. Pittsburgh Jean Company. Oh my gosh, I'm going the wrong way. So this is Southside, and it's just one long street of all kinds of stores and stuff. But we want to go the other way. And we're gonna try to go that other way. No, we aren't. No, we aren't. No, we are not without getting a ticket. So yeah. Go That's Margaritaville right there. Where? And the Lava Lounge. I used my fake ID when I was in college. It's such a scum bucket bar, but they. 25 cent beers, and I don't drink beer, so I didn't ever get them, but if I did drink beer, that would have been a really good deal. A quarter for a beer. Favorite place? Oh, a bees is supposed to be good. Go down, it's green. Yeah, I see. Little. Well, anyways, so this is Southside Works. Behind here is where all of the there's some good shopping, like Urban Outfitters and um, H and M and what else? Just some other stuff. But it's this behind where we are, and then also American Eagle, one of their corporate headquarters, is here. So their big corporate building is located right in Pittsburgh. So that's pretty cool. I'll try to zoom in on that but what we we were going to do looks like it's closing so can only mean one thing razzy fresh how this place is c these steaks ECBG McCormick and Schmicks I heard it was good that's where all the vendors were, and we um, mi we missed it. That's how nice they were. So we missed all this good stuff. There was probably some really good jewelry.